Corey here from Solenoid Studio, and today we're going to be having a look at a sweet little Celtic harp library from Extant Audio. This is a, a part of Extant Audio's new Celtic range of instruments, um, and this is a really nice, well-recorded, um, beautiful, beautiful sounding Celtic harp with a lot of character. It's got that nice, woody, natural um, tone to it. And it's it's really easy to play a really simple patch um, with it's basically not complex at all. But you're given three mic positions and you're given uh, a few different articulations so you can get rolling straight off the bat and make some interesting sounds for orchestral, classical, baroque, fantasy type of music. So. Basically, what you heard there was just the normal articulation, uh, which is just the fingers plucking the strings. We have a couple of other uh, articulations. Another articulation we have is uh, lighter picking with the fingers or flagellate, and I'll let you have a quick listen to that. So as you can hear, it's got a nice, warm, woody tone, that really unmistakable Celtic sound. And it fits in a, a lot of different genres. And uh, it doesn't, obviously because of the room it was recorded in, it doesn't have too much reverb. It sounds nice and dry, so you can add whatever reverb on, uh, on it that you like, and it sounds great with different types of reverb. I'll show you the next articulation. We've got a special little triplet articulation, which is a specific kind of Celtic picking technique. Um, that obviously you would use in Irish music, but it sounds good. I'll let you have a quick listen to that. So as you can hear, just a nice little triplet, and you can change the speed of these triplets here in the, um, the triplet speed bar. We've also got the release um, volume here, so you can change when you let go of the keys, the sound of um, the the strings or the fingers sort of releasing on 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 the strings. You get you can change the volume of that, and you can change the stereo width depending on how wide you want it to sound or how compact you want it to sound. And another thing we've got here that I'll show you, we've got three different types of. Um, mic positions. We've got the direct input which is basically it's a it's been plugged into the harp itself because the harp has an electrical output and that sounds more a little more rustic a little more gritty um, and kind of more for like if, if you actually wanted to put the harp through distortion um, and get some interesting effects out of it. So I'll give you a quick listen to just the direct input. So as you can hear, more of a rough, raw tone. And next we've got the room mics, again, recorded in a nice, small, uh, kind of controlled room. So you get a, a nice, uh, kind of a vibrance from the harp, but you get that full woody tone because the room's controlled. Let's give you a quick listen to that mic on its own. So a nice rich tone there. And then finally we've got the close mic, which obviously sounds nice and dry. Just give you a quick listen to that. So as you can see in here, it's a very simple instrument. It comes basically with just the one patch, very accessible, straightforward, no 
no complex things that you need to, to work out there. It comes with the three mic positions. Um, you can turn the round robin on and off. Um, and just controls basically allow you to hone in the sound that you want. And it's a really nice sound. It's got nice character. Um, personally, I've found it kind of difficult to find a decent harp library or, or a harp library that I personally like because a lot of harp libraries tend to, I don't know, some are too dry, some are too fantastic and recorded in large halls and stuff like that. But this is one of those really nice balanced ones that sounds great. And um, I'll just uh, I'll quickly show you as well, we've got, as you can see, a green key down here. This is the um, manual release key. So if you want to get that sound of dampening the strings with your fingers after you've picked notes, this key will basically activate a dampening sample. So you can play and basically do this. And that key is velocity sensitive, so you get sort of different different volumes of the dampening depending on how hard you press the key. And obviously, if you're going for more of a more of a touch and go and um, and dampening kind of on and off note kind of composition, you can muck around with the dampening key and uh, put some reverb on it, and it sounds great. So all in all, really good little library. Um, like I said, Celtic libraries with Celtic instruments are fairly hard to find these days unless you look like in, in places like Eduardo Taralante who makes great medieval and uh, Celtic libraries. And this is a really great addition to um, basically the, the, sample, the sample market with these great little Celtic instruments, which will be further expanded on by Extant Audio in the future. So that's that. Good little library. I recommend you pick it up because uh, you can use it in a lot of different things. It sounds great when you layer it with piano or even uh, if you layer it with roads, like uh, electric keys and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, and that's that for this video. And I'll check you later with another library. Check you later.